This conference will now be recorded. Uh, hello everyone. I'm Srinivas. Uh, I'm the trainer for this UART protocol and UART controller design and verification course. As part of this course, we'll be focusing on three aspects of UART protocol. One is uh, on UART learning of UART protocol as part of which we'll be learning, uh, like as you know, UART stands for Universal Asynchronous Receiver and Transmitter. It is a one type of peripheral communication protocol, which is a low cost, low power consumption protocol. But at the same time, it doesn't give very high performance for a medium performance or low performance application where uh, the power saving the power consumption and uh, reducing the cost of implementation is important. There, the companies prefer UART protocol. So as part of this course, we'll be learning the UART protocol based system architecture. What is meant by transmitter? What is meant by receiver? and how those uh, transmitter and receive connect with each other and what are the signals what is transmit signal what is receive signal and we'll be focusing on uh, the timing diagrams for write uh, and read scenarios of the uart protocol and we'll also understand what is the concept of baud rate i mean how is it related i mean why do we require the concept of baud rate because the term asynchronous indicates that there won't be any clock that is used between the transmitter and receiver communication it is the baud rate which is used as the reference for reception and transmission purpose and when we go to the second aspect of the course we'll be focusing on learning the uart controller design and verification where we'll be using verilog language to implement the design code and we'll also be using verilog to develop the test bench and verify the design behavior in the third part of the course we'll be doing the uart controller uh, system Verilog and UBM based test bench development. I mean the same Verilog code which we have developed which has got two interfaces. One is the APB interface, one is the UART slave interface. We are going to develop the UVC related components. I mean UVM related component what we call as APB UVC. Here we are going to develop the UART slave and uh, then we'll also be developing a scoreboard to connect these things and check the behavior of the UART controller. So as part of that we'll also be learning how to develop the sequences for uh, do initiating these transfers here and we'll be learning how to map these test cases to the sequences uh, given the fact that uart is a simpler protocol relatively simpler protocol compared to other protocols like ax and hp uh, here when you do this kind of course you will be getting a better opportunity to learn gain expertise with system airlock and uv now once you do this project once you do this course you will be able to update your resume with uh, this kind of project and uh, let me tell you this project from a fresher perspective, this is a very much a relevant project where the companies do treat as a good project from a fresher perspective. I'm not talking about an experienced person. A five years experienced person cannot, of course, show this kind of project as a complex one. But a fresher can always show this as a good project where uh, the project can be like design and verification of the UART controller using system airlock and UVM. Okay, here I want to just tell one thing. Sometimes people write design and verification of UART protocol. That is wrong. The project title should be design and verification of UART controller using system Verilog and UVM. The same thing applies for other things like SPA controller, I2C controller, the remaining things remain same.